shooting class just went in at, after midnight, so it would have been early Thursday morning that took place in the north end of the city. And the story goes, there was a Hispanic male that was walking the north on frontage and was close to the Alvona, the civic city limit, and a car drove by and shot him in the in the leg, and we did recover the shell casing, and then uh, no one called 911. He got a ride to Auburn Hospital, and then Auburn, because it was a gunshot wound, notified the Auburn police, <coughs> and found out it happened in the city. So then we took over the investigation, and the victim's not cooperative, did not want to pursue the incident, so it was a very short investigation. And then on uh, May 6th, Mayor Dyer, Lieutenant Massey, myself, and um, a member of our Hispanic community will be attending the public trust meeting. I think I've sent notices to the council. Uh, it's in the Renton City Hall Council Chambers next week. So that I'm looking forward to that. Sure. It was, it was really um, a quick meeting for our agenda items where we talked about the food utility uh, operations and maintenance fees and what makes them up, the expenditures, and I made a pie chart for the committee to look at. They have some questions actually more about the King County portion and how the rate hikes come through and, and then they asked staff to look into it to see if we could find out more about that to bring back to the committee and so we can know why they're going up higher than the cost of living. Uh, we went over the first quarter 2015 financial report, and there weren't really many questions out of that. All they were pretty pleased with the numbers, and then that was we briefly discussed uh, for future agenda items. Looking, talking with PSD and Comcast about putting their utility structures underground. I think that might be more of a public works. So we'll probably come back to council when, whenever that's looked at. And that was it. Next meeting is not scheduled until June. Uh, June 16th. No meeting in May? So not so far, Vic, because um, I think he's out of town one week, um, and I'm out of town one week, and so it's just uh, there's really nothing to come on the agenda right now. Okay. If something comes up, we can still hold a meeting. Okay. Uh, Governor, we have a meeting on May 5th. All right, human services is meeting tomorrow night. Public Safety Committee. Um, I did get an on-site lesson, and I was going to get together with the other people in the committee, including John, number one, to find out if there is anything that needs to be discussed. Do you know anything off the top of your head? I don't. Okay, well, I'm going to wait in here, and if there is something that does happen to come up, um, I'm thinking maybe we could do it either the last Thursday of the month or the beginning of next month. Uh, Vic <coughs> brought it to my attention that this is normally a group that meets quarterly unless there's something that needs to be brought up. Is that correct? No, we've never met quarterly. It's pretty much as, as an on need. As needed? Okay. Well, I think he said that it's mandatory that you meet at least once per quarter is what he was telling me. Okay, so maybe we can think about meeting the first um, Thursday in, in uh, May. May. Okay. That's all I have. All right. Um, public Works Committee. Well, you guys are meeting next week, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, May 6th is the meeting. Okay, Technology Committee. We met on April 16th. Can I borrow your microphone? I don't want to get my microphone. She scared me to use the mic now. 
Um, so we, we talked again about the portable AV systems. Um, Richard had called a couple of references and Richard spoke to it. So we're, we're looking at um, the system that Richard brought to council. We thought that was here. Um, also, we are they just received a new system. Um, so we're looking at that vendor to see what they might be able to offer. So their system is pretty nice so, and very portable. Uh, Richard brought up the website. He stole all of my thunder. <laughs> oh, there's a couple things. There's a couple things. <laughs> really exciting stuff like a surplus policy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we we have a couple uh, sample surplus policies, mostly technology. We have a surplus policy in place, but looking at uh, how do we dispose of our drives and that kind of stuff. So we have a couple policies that we're reviewing and we'll, we'll talk to you at the next meeting. Um, and we're currently still looking at potential uh, IT services outside of the city of Auburn. So we're looking at kind of a consortium based service. So it's still kind of in the state of work. Um, things we're exploring. So, and we meet again on May 21st. Excellent. Park Board. Is there anybody here from Park Board that would like to give a report? <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, moving along. <laughs> moving along. Here you can be the horse handler. I think those got passed out already. One no, just one. Oh. Because. Oh. I don't want to take it. I don't want to steal it. <laughs> right, we don't want to steal our facts. The results okay. should be in your email packet because I asked Amy if she would distribute them and she said yes and she did. Well, you just want to know. One of those things. I don't know what else to do. I'm still tired from it's Saturday. Oh. And if your report passes so through the audience, Madam I need one. Mayor, first of all, from our meeting last week, we wanted to uh, give a special shout out to Lance and Jack. Lance, our parks have never looked so good in all the years that we've lived here. So we wanted to thank you and the Public Works uh, team for making it look so well. And Jack, thank you for all you do with all the planning and all that other stuff. So we want to make sure that you know that we really appreciate those two. And Richard, we've never seen reports before on our finances, so we were excited about that too. <laughs> Although we're concerned that we're burning through some of our maintenance money a little quickly, that's okay. We'll be back in July for that little incident. <laughs> <laughs> now what? Now we're going to talk about first day. <coughs> Pick up Pacific. Yes. So I hold, you talk. Oh, okay. Saturday, if you didn't notice, there were people wandering around with vests and various parks and along the street. Frank Hatton in his green truck were uh, driving around picking up trash and I'll get to the trash collection results right off the top. We had two divisions this year, uh, driving and walking. And so the people who were driving were pretty much trash collection and the people who were walking were uh, working in the parks, pulling weeds, picking up litter along the road. So it, it was a little more fair for the walkers that not have to compete against people with cars. Uh, the champ this year was Team Hatton with Frank uh, J. Frank Hatton III and his wife Arlene. They picked up 1,330 pounds. The runner-up team was Team Wipeout with 10, uh, 100, no, what, 10 <coughs> at 1,030 pounds, thanks. That's Brian Perkins and Jim Meyer. A beautification walking team was Gary Nietzsche. Nietzsche from the park board. He got 35 pounds, but I'm not sure where, Gary, were you working around the city hall? and. Mm -hmm. Picking up trash around there. Um, the runner-up team was Team Gerber Thunder with 23 pounds, and that was Andre Nearshold, Jonathan Richards, Stephanie Richards, and Novalee Schwolf. And these are kids that we've not seen at Pacific events before, so that's really cool. Runner-up was the Mayor Squad. Poor Leanne. We were brought. Jen took our garbage bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you got some trash. That was good. And Cole Brown from the park board, and Mary Leanne Geyer, Carrie Ann Safford, and John Strasburg were their team. 
and I'm going to make a special mention to Barbara Lourdes, who beautified around the city's uh, senior center flower beds. Apparently, whatever weed she pulled and stuff didn't get weighed. And it did. there six pounds. Six pounds. Okay, we'll write that down. And Christopher Pittington, Tori Suave, Corey Thompson cleaned up litter along Valentine Avenue, and Carrie Garberding from the Park Board helped and kept an eye on them. Wait. Because Okay, so you know, because they're working along the street and we just wanted them to be safe. Um, one of the interesting things that happened is with those dumpsters out over the weekend, they magically filled up. The first one for garbage was overflowing by 6 o'clock Sunday uh, when I went by, and the second one closest to the recycle yard was about two-thirds full. So while I'm sitting there trying to get my camera charged and take pictures of this extra trash that appeared, people pulled up and put more trash in, and then Jerry Eck rolled up to check how it was, and he picked up his recycle bins that were donated for aluminum and iron and you know, metal, non-ferrous and ferrous. Um, I said, well, I'm charging my camera. I want to take more pictures of the trash. And, you know, it was it was pretty amazing. He suggested that uh, the drivers wouldn't like stuff sticking up above the bins. So um, I sent an email to Lance last night, and he got back to me this morning with the crew had evened <coughs> out the load. So a little shout out to the city public works crew for some follow-up. So thanks, Lance. <laughs> I don't know really what else to say, but we had over 35, almost 40 people. We're going to do it again this fall. We're going to do it again this fall. Make a difference day. Make a difference day. Uh, October. Fourth October, uh, Saturday in October is Make a Difference Day, so put that on your calendars. And, you know, this was really a good event. People stayed. They came in, they had lunch. Of course, we bribed them with uh, door <laughs> prizes and some pretty cool giveaways. And that is mostly thanks to the generosity of Don Kuzmer down at Metals Express for donating $300 towards the event, to Jerry Eck for bringing the recycle bins, and to Mary Geyer, oh, Leanne. She's just Leanne in this case, uh, for buying lunch, all the materials for lunch. Uh, Katie Garberding and Stacy Oliveira, yeah, I hope I get it right, uh, were cooking with the help of Don Thompson and his wife Shirley. So it was a real teamwork event. People pulled together. Um, you mentioned the maps. Uh, Dwayne Grotz uh, sat and folded over 50 sets of maps. <laughs> so he was pretty busy for a couple of hours there. Um, other park board members were going around checking on people, picking stuff up. Uh, Don Blackwell donated a couple of $50 Cabela gift cards. We're going to change that drawing this next time. Yeah, yeah, because I don't know how it happened, but two park board members won the $50 <laughs> gift cards. Not me. <laughs> no. So we're going to take them off the list for that drawing and maybe mix it up a little bit, uh, hand out. Uh, bingo cards or tickets or something because these cards folded up were kind of hard to draw. But I think everybody was pretty happy and uh, if you were there, raise your hand please. Yay. Yay. Yeah. And Clint, you rolled yeah. over from the hospital practically. Yeah. 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 And Clint, Clint was, you know, willing to pay for lunch and he said, no, you came. You, did, you can get your lunch for free. So, um, I hope uh, the folks who came enjoyed themselves, and I think you can see a difference around town. Uh, if not, well, we'll try more next time. Um, what, is the, what do they say in 4-H? Tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and tell them what you told them. And then remind them, is this what you gave them? Yes. I want you Email. to look at the list. The list is not the same ten people, although the same ten people that show up. <laughs> we have <laughs> we have more than the same ten. No, we have names that we've never heard of before. Right. And the children, I call them children, they are young adults. Um, Cole Brown, thank you for finding him, whoever found that boy. Number one, he's excited. And number two, he got his friends to come. He did. <laughs> he did. He did. He did. Good. So in closing, any questions? 
I think we all should thank the inventors. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, I can't get any more awards. No. Oh, oh, oh shout well. out to Waste Management for providing yes. the yes. for the dumpsters. And, and we're sorry those overnighters became a little bigger, <laughs> but, but we know, thank it's you. It's an example. If there's an opportunity to get rid of some trash for free, uh, people will take it, and some might say that that's sort of a giveaway, but if it reduces the staff time of having to go out and, and give uh, abatement notices mm -hmm. and stuff for garbage, for maybe it's something the council would look into in future waste management garbage contracts and negotiating for another cleanup event that has, it could be anonymous, it could be spot, it could be, everybody found it, but, all right, so thank you very much, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you guys, excellent job, good event. So, Penny Commission, <coughs> are you going to give a report, Jack, from the Penny Commission? Well, I already gave the report on the Penny Commission. Okay. All right, I just want to make sure. Is there any regional council? Uh, nothing to report, but the next meeting is Thursday, May 7th. Perfect. May 7th. Sound Cities Association doesn't meet until May 13th. Um, South County Support. Okay. Very, very briefly, uh, a couple presentations were, were given. One was um, by the Port of Seattle, who was doing a master plan for the update and upgrade of SeaTac Airport. And then the second was by Sound Transit, where they were talking about the link uh, to Federal Way on that. And just a quick editorial is it's kind of a fl flip on the phrase that you might have heard. This is one of those cases where uh, there's going to be a million more residents in the, the four county region in the Puget Sound over the next 20 to 30 years. So it's not uh, build it and they will come. It's they're already coming, so you need to start planning to build for it now. And that was kind of the message, the theme of the message of both of the presentations. Okay. Thank you. Uh, our meeting this month was actually pretty eventful. So we had um, the <coughs> presentation for the firefighter of the year, James Franklin, uh, one firefighter of the year. And for the actual presentation, his son was a, I think it was a soccer tournament. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't able to make it. And then honored one of the retirees for 2014, uh, Gary Ebersol, uh, retired. So that was the presentation. Um, that was the most eventful part of the meeting. Um, and then we also voted on uh, the administrative support and educators collective bargaining agreement, and we passed a resolution supporting the emergency public safety radio network replacement project that hopefully everyone has voted on by now. If not, it's due tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, that concludes the report. Moving on to the whole